I am completely biased about barbecue. In fact, the most famous barbecue joint here in Phoenix, I won't even go to because I don't think their barbecue is very good. Mostly I like mine. There's two barbecue joints that I will go to. Today, I'm gonna introduce you to Texas Barbecue House, Arizona. This is some of the best barbecue in the valley, bar none, bomb stuff. Okay, so we're here, here with my buddy Andy, who just got his, uh, just got your instrument ready, right? Your personal uh, instructor instrument. Flight instructor instrument. Yeah. Flight instructor instrument ready down here in Phoenix. And uh, this is what's up. So we got the platter. So, brisket, ribs, half a chicken, turkey down in here, all kinds of other goodies for my, our side, green beans, because I am trying to keep my carbs down. It's got like ham and... Yeah, of course, it's got a bunch of, of uh, smoke stuff. So, in my opinion, brisket tells you if somebody knows how to smoke food. Okay? So Andy hasn't had this before, so he's gonna grab some of that. Notice that it's not falling apart. Mm. It's juicy. You got a good smoke ring, you got good bark. Uh, salty, unctuous. Is there any good barbecue up by you in, in Alaska? At my house. Right? At my house. Oh. So when you get a piece of lots of bark, you get this blast of salty and peppery. That's all I put on is salt and pepper. And smoke. Mm, amazing. Let me set this down here. And give you a little bit. Give you a little bit more. Brisket, amazing. Ribs, okay. Now, I want you to see that. Notice, still some color, good smoke, but here's the thing. You actually have to bite it. And that's right for ribs. You don't want the ribs to fall off the bone. Chicken is it, huh? My wife would love this chicken. This is this drumstick is amazing. This, whatever the rub they got on this thing, incredible. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this for about. Mm. Pork and beef rib. It's a pork rib. And again, one of the things that makes barbecue great, in my opinion, is it has to be cooked to the right temperature. This stuff is its money. Green beans, um, kind of green beans, more like pulled pork with some green bean in them. Spicy, peppery. Um, first thing it hits you is pepper. Then a little smoked meat, just enough green bean. Not really salty, but super delicious. Smoked turkey. Now, I'm not normally a smoked turkey guy, to be honest with you, because most people smoke turkey and smoke it dry. You can immediately feel in your fingers that it's moist. Mm. Good smoke throughout. Turkey flavor comes right through. Not over season. Really get turkey. And juicy. Money. And time. Good call. And time. Smoked sausage. Dude. Again, juicy. Let's see. So I don't like super spicy sauce. And this isn't. Um, classic, mild, kielbasa. Very much Polish sausage, kind of kielbasa. But, I mean, you can just see the juice coming out of that. Taste as it should be. Really? Mm. Chicken's like turkey, man. It gets dry so fast. And if you dry out chicken, it's nasty. This is juicy. Uh, skin is super flavorful. Good kind of citrus based rub on it. Mm, mm. I like the thigh because it's juicier. Hint of smoke, not over smoke. You can over smoke chicken in a hurry. It's the reason I eat here. All right, the one thing everybody always asks about pulled pork. All right. You actually sauce their pulled pork. It's kind of rare. In Texas, they don't sauce much. I'd say the rub has a little sweetness. Their um, pork rub has a lot of pepper. Um, honestly, it's probably the thing I'm least um, impressed by. Everything else is so good. This pulled pork is quite adequate, but I wouldn't write home about it. Um, so when you come to uh, Texas Barbecue House here in Arizona, ribs are bomb, brisket's amazing, 
chickens to die for. Turkey's good. Sausage is awesome. Pulled pork. It's okay. Beans. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I just got kind of like a tikka. Yeah. Yeah, a little, almost. So, this is one of the two places in the valley that I'm coming to barbecue any day of the week. Love it. Totally biased towards it. Come and try it.